Joe Biden got heated yesterday when talking about compensating illegals that were separated from their children during the Trump administration. Take a listen. No, I didn't uh, say that. Let's get it straight. You said everybody coming across the border gets five hundred, four hundred fifty thousand dollars. So the number was what you had a problem. The number with. I was referring to. Okay. Now here's the thing. Sure. If in fact, because of the the outrageous behavior of the last administration, you coming across the border, whether it was legal or illegal, and you lost your child, you lost your child. He's gone. You deserve some kind of compensation, no matter what the circumstance. What that will be, I have no idea. Joining us now is former acting Border Patrol Commissioner and Heritage Foundation visiting fellow Mark Morgan. Mark, always great to see you. Thanks for being here at Wake Up America weekend. Thanks for having me. So, so, so Mark, first, he seemed confused about the, the, the fact that these negotiations were happening at all. Then he said it wasn't going to happen. Now he's totally flip-flopped. Um, isn't all of this, though, just a big flashing light that says, hey, if you want to come, come on in? You're exactly right, I think, on all counts. And I think the American people uh, see that that this was another example of this president is not the one calling the shots here. So look, we, could, we could put that to, to bed. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing, though, that, that is very disturbing to me is what you just said. This is yet another calling card to encourage, incentivize, and facilitate people to come to our country and illegally enter and break our law. Look, if I can real quick, I was a police officer for a very long time, and I can tell you what's frustrating is, is this country separates American families from their children every single day when they do something called violating and breaking the law, and there are consequences. It's very disingenuous for the stance that they take. And again, I'll tell you, what, what's something that really frustrates me is an angel family that that a, a American citizen, their loved one, dies at the hands of an illegal alien. Guess how much the, the government gives that family? Zero. This wow. is absolutely insanity. Uh, you know, and, and the other thing that he said that I, I don't think is true is that it's only if you, you were separated and the child is somehow gone and you've not been reunited with the child. That's not true at all. This is, this is going to be people who are separated, period. It could be thousands of, and thousands of people could cost a billion dollars. So again, I think he's the one who's really confused on all of this. Mark, Texas this week started construction on the border wall again. I want to talk to you about what they're doing, and is this the same type of barrier that President Trump had designed and was having built, or is it something else? Yeah, so right now they're doing a couple of things. This is a good question. So what they're putting up right now, the infrastructure, it's not the, the wall system that we have, but they are headed that way. So they're doing two things simultaneously, which, is, again, another great effort by Governor Abbott. Look, what he's putting up there is a temporary structure, and it helps them uh, the Texas DPS and the National Guard there to shape the behaviors of the cartel and really funnel illegal immigrants to the areas where they have more resources there to handle it, rather than the cartel shaping our behaviors. But he's doing much more than that. It's not just about the infrastructure. He's taking a playbook from the Border Patrol multi-layer strategy. He's, he's using infrastructure, he's putting more personnel down there, and he's utilizing more technology, including air assets. It's that multi-layer strategy that works, and that's what this governor, uh, that's what Governor Abbott is doing, because this administration has dismantled that strategy for Border Patrol, and that's another reason why our borders are wide open. Yeah, and he's starting to create these additional choke points, which is the type of thing that, you know, that the Biden administration uh, completely abrogated when they, when they came in, right? That's exactly right. And that's another example of many that the wall works, is that, again, it does exactly what you said. It funnels the migrants to the area where we have the resources to deal with it. And again, we've never said the wall was the only solution. The wall, in, in conjunction with personnel and technology, it's that multi-layer strategy at work. And that's exactly what Governor Abbott is doing right now, because the Border Patrol hasn't been able to employ that, employ that strategy. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.